All aboard the Reading Railroad. This week, the famed New York Public Library unveiled its brand new book train. We have millions of our volumes of our research collection stored below Bryant Park, and we have to get them from there to here as people ask for them quickly. So we went and found the best little choo-choo train that we could find. They may not look like they're streaking up the Northeast Corridor, but they run like the little engine that could. Traveling at 75 feet per minute, each one of these trolleys can haul 30 pounds of pamphlets, periodicals, and portfolios. After a visitor puts in a request, the book train gets to work, carrying volumes both horizontally and vertically over 950 feet of track to two study areas, including the iconic Rose Reading Room, which just underwent a two-year renovation. The old system that we had um, took about twice as long to get the material from where it was stored into this reading room based on any request that we get. This system is also much more reliable, much easier to maintain, it's quieter, which is important in a library. So while the library's immense collection will always be the draw here, for this week, the book train is getting the lion's share of the attention. So they went from conveyor belt to the train, about a two and a half million dollar renovation, that wow. portion of it, but part of a larger renovation and proof that yes, people are still reading real books. I just, real I can, books matter. Can you imagine being a kid and having your book arrive on a train? How cool I is mean, that? what's better than that? Yeah, right? our kids love trains.